Wrestling was the reason I came to Memorial. I started wrestling in high school and I wanted to continue on with wrestling and the, the way to do that was to go wrestle for the varsity team. It took seven years to finish my masters, um, which seems like a long time, uh, but I was originally in the program full time, but then taking on other responsibilities. I got married, started having my kids, and building your house, starting your life at the same time. It wasn't a bad thing because I, I think I've gained a lot of experience and knowledge by doing it. Dr. Fabian Bissett was my master's supervisor and he has enormous amounts of experience and, and knowledge around research and sport performance. Uh, and it's not something that you can kind of gather all that information in two years. So I think in a way, um, taking so long to do my master's was a positive uh, experience because I was able to soak up more of his knowledge. One of the things that I'm very interested in is understanding how the human body can adapt to different types of physiological stresses. The focus of my PhD is in uh, stroke recovery. I'm looking at different exercise interventions to help people recover after stroke. After stroke there's a short window of time where individuals are able to optimize their amount of recovery they're going to receive. After that period of time, the amount of recovery that's possible declines. One of the things that is challenging for individuals who have stroke is that they have motor impairments that limits their ability to do exercise. Building on the work that I've done in my masters, one of the things that we're going to look at in the upcoming experiment is adding the hypoxia to this, um, this exercise program to see if we can again increase the amount of recovery, but possibly even extend that window of plasticity after a stroke. Coming from um, the kinesiology department and now working in or studying in the faculty of medicine uh, is, is very rewarding because I have a set of skills that are mostly found in the uh, human performance, health promotion world and now to transfer over into clinical populations and look at novel ways to develop exercise strategies that are, have been developed for many years to help athletes prepare for performance and overcome plateaus of performance to try to take that information now and apply it to a clinical population like stroke um, is very rewarding because it's skills that you have developed and now applying it in, in a different um, situation. Because of the unique way I combined my education studying in kinesiology and transferring over into medicine, uh, I I competitive for a lot of different research funding and that as well. For the past two years, I've been successful to win the Canadian Partnership for Stroke Recovery Trainee Award, uh, which is offered to only a handful of students nationally. The first year I won it, I was the only student in Atlantic Canada to win it, and few students have ever won it twice in a, twice in a row. This comes from, I, I believe this comes from my background in kinesiology and offering a unique perspective and being able to, it's almost like an interdisciplinary approach to, to studying stroke recovery.